Get it here Texas. Rick Robin here. I'm gonna walk you through this gas grill that we did. It's a 24 by 36 long main chamber, stainless steel, 14 inch uh, shelf. And we've got our gas lines, control valves down there. And we have a side uh, insane dual jet burner that we make. Uh, access doors, sliding air vents, burnout stacks, with stainless steel cut handles on them, dual gear gauges. Another birdhouse back here. Another side access door with slide vents. Restrain. And cool touch handles on all your doors. And we've got inside your lower sliding meat rack. Framed out in heavy duty one inch angle. You've got your quarter inch thick reflector plates or V shields or heat shields, whatever people want to call them. These are a quarter inch thick. They pop out, they're easily removable. You just lift them up, take them out. They are numbered, which one goes left and right. And then underneath there, you have your commercial cast iron uh, H burners, heavy duty cast iron burners, commercial grade, and we have a removable half top rack. And that nice brushed 304 stainless with Gator logo etched into it. That's hard to see because it make it really light. But that's a badass gas grill, guys. Not what you buy at your Home Depot or box stores. This is custom made quarter inch thick steel. Gator pick quality. And I did lift and close that with one hand. It is a little heavy. I would recommend a counterweight if you do want to order one of these. I would get a counterweight added to it. it makes it a little easier because it is a big heavy pit. Right? Quarter inch thick steel. Three feet long, two feet deep. You can have the burner mounted either higher or lower or not have to burn at all. Your choice. Uh, this customer wanted it down low because he wants to be able to fry turkeys and boil crawfish, big tall pots. So those pots will sit up here, right? If you move that burner up higher, then that pot's going to be on top. You don't want it that high. It's dangerous. Some people want to burn it on there just for, for, for pan frying stuff or frying little, little uh, pans of fish or whatnot. I would then put that burner a little higher. Uh, and you don't have to have that side door. So the burner could actually be up at this countertop height, stovetop height level if it needs to be. Anyway, I'm Rich Robin, Gator Pit of Texas Custom Barbecue Pits. If this is of interest to you, let me know. Made right here in Houston, Texas. American made quality custom cookers by Gator Pit. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like. And uh, you know, hit that little bell there to, uh, to get notices of new videos that we publish uh, pretty much weekly, guys. See ya.